Cyprus, off season. An uncountable number of people visit Cyprus every year. Most of them manage to do it on the warmest or hottest time of the year – summer. The tourist season starts from April and lasts till October, but visiting Cyprus during off-season is as good and probably even better, especially if you want to experience the island without sweaty crowds. Spring temperatures are around 20 degrees, can be lower some days, but can easily warm up to 25 degrees as well. Sometimes it can be a bit windy, but most days the skies are blue with pleasing sunshine warming up the skin. Larnaca, one of the oldest cities on the island, was the perfect start or trip to Cyprus. The city has many lovely finds, cultural and historical, but leaving the streets behind. The most incredible was the peaceful sunrise over the salt lake, where large flocks of majestic flamingos fill the lake. Their pink feathers reflect in the morning light, making this moment unforgettable. Each winter, they stop on island for a rest. During the summer, the lake dries up, leaving just salt behind. So if you wish to meet the pink flamingos, this is another good reason for visiting Cyprus before the summer season. Most of our days we spent in Protaras, which is a purpose-built resort wholly created for tourists. Funny, but we realized it only when we arrived here. With almost no tourists around, hotels, shops, restaurants and bars closed, it feels like a proper ghost city. In this time of the year, a lot of hotels are being referred to be ready for summer. But in spite of only one pub and supermarket open in the whole city, we felt delighted to enjoy this kind of loneliness. All beach is just for you. Definitely better with no endless sunbed roads with hundreds of half baked bodies lying on them. Apart from being completely touristic, this place has a true natural beauty that doesn't fade after the season ends. The natural cliffs are still there, and so are the crystal clear water. There is so much to enjoy – nature tracks, a unique church built in a cliff. Diving is an activity you can do here all year round. Unforgettable was experience exploring famous Zenobia shipwreck, which is one of the top 10 dive sites in the world. Definitely don't miss it if you have a chance to see it. Just a few miles away from Portaras is another tourist base, Aya Napa. Aya Napa is one of the most visited areas in Cyprus and gets very crowded during summer months, so it's hard to imagine a better time than early spring or late autumn if you wish to avoid the fuss. Although it may have a reputation for wild nightlife and clubbing, this can be easily avoided if you wish to do so. Aya Napa offers many places to enjoy together with family and children. There are lots of fabulous beaches, an impressive historic monastery and walking trails that lead to a fascinating sunset views. Natural Ark, called Love Bridge, is one of our favorites. In our last day of the visit, we finally got a chance to rent a car and venture it out on a day trip to Trudes Mountains, located in the center of the island. In spring, temperatures are ideal for perfect outdoor exploration. Milamere Nature Trail is a small hidden track located deep in the forest. The trail follows the river bends and leads to an open mountain top with a wonderful view. At the end of the trail, where you can hear the flowing water sound before even seeing it, stands Milamere Waterfall with pond at the bottom. The water falls from 15 meters and it's one of the tallest waterfalls on the island. To sum it all up, Cyprus is an excellent destination for holidays in any season of the year and much more than just a beach destination. Hopefully, we'll come back one day to explore even more. Have you been to Cyprus? Can you recommend some places we should visit next time? Share your experiences below. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any future videos. See you soon!